Good Tuesday, everyone. Taking a look at our daily weather map for today, we see lots of unsettled weather across the northeast U.S. We'll see some flash flood risk across portions of Maine. That's from that same cold front that pushed through here the other day that's bringing us this very chilly air mass that we have in place now. And then look at those snowflakes flying from West Virginia up to western New York State and then back over toward Wisconsin. Lots of snowflakes flying across some portions of those areas today. The rest of the country looking pretty quiet as cold high pressure settles into a big chunk of the central and eastern U.S. This is our 24-hour temperature change map from this morning. Look how much colder everybody is in the eastern U.S. compared to this time yesterday. These temperatures are going to plunge even more tonight. So if you thought last night was chilly, wait till you see tonight. It is going to be downright bitter cold around portions of the plateau tonight. Checking our five-day outlook, mostly sunny with a few clouds today. Some clouds passing through last night into the early morning hours kept our temperatures several degrees warmer than we would have otherwise been. So many of us dropped into the upper 20s last night rather than the mid-20s. So today, though, those clouds are going to keep us a little cooler, but there's going to be a lot of sunshine, too. Highs in the mid-40s. And then tonight, skies clear out. It should be crystal clear skies for star viewing. But those lows are going to drop into the low to mid-20s, so be ready for that. That's a hard freeze. And then for Wednesday, we warm up into the upper 40s, so still a very chilly day, followed by a very chilly night. Before a warming trend begins on Thursday, going to the low 50s on Thursday, low 60s on Friday, and mid to upper 60s on Saturday. So as the season goes, we're still having those kind of swings in temperature, but nothing too wild of a swing it doesn't look like. So just kind of typical fall-like weather. Now on this day in 1972, it was a wet day. We had almost two and a half inches of rainfall in Crossville, which was a daily record for that date. In 1930, a big early season lake effect snowburst near Lake Erie and Lake Ontario produced 47 inches of snow at Governor New York and 48 inches of snow just south of Buffalo. Can you imagine that much snow in such a short period of time? That is a lot of snow. It's like four feet of snow folks so you know i love snow but i don't i'm not sure i want four feet um, i'll take a few inches <laughs> so, but anyways before we know it it'll be that time of year around here where we'll be looking for for snowflakes ourselves but uh but for now we're watching the leaves fall instead of snowflakes right well you folks have a wonderful day and keep looking up for even more weather information just keep reading along that blog meteorologistmark.com